Good morning. I'm Susan at the Rufus Lewis Library and we're going to do a chair yoga class today. So you don't need any special equipment for this lesson. You just need a chair, preferably with no arms. Sit up nice and tall with your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. This is what is called a neutral spine. Your feet are flat on the floor and your toes are facing forward, knees right above the ankles. And begin breathing in and out through the nose. Whatever's gone on today, good, bad, neutral, leave it outside the door, bringing all your awareness into your body and center on the breath, breathing in and breathing out. If you like, you can close your eyes. Muscles relax, your body soften as you continue breathing in and out through the nose. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Open your eyes. We're going to begin by lubricating all our joints. As you may know, your joints are made up of bones that come together, but there's space between those bones and it's filled with synovial fluid, and that's what keeps our joints lubricated. So go ahead and place your heels on the mat. We're going to begin with our toes and work our way up. And just curl and uncurl the toes. Getting this, the synovial fluid into each and every joint on each and every toe. And then we'll bring that to a close. Go ahead and lift your feet off the mat. Doesn't have to be very high. And point one foot as you flex the other. And then reverse. Just flow through that. Keeping the spine nice and long, maintaining the neutral spine. And let's bring that to a close. And now we'll do ankle circles. So just make circles with your feet. Juicing up those ankle joints. And then pause and we'll go in the opposite direction. What you do on one side of the body, you then do on the other side. One more time, and we'll bring that to a close. Once again, the feet are pointing straight ahead, the knees are above the ankles. And I'll be mirroring you, so when I say to use your right arm or your right foot, I'm actually using my left. So bring your right heel to the mat, and touch the mat with the heel, the outer edge, the toes, the inner edge. We'll do that two more times. Heel, outer edge, toes, inner edge. And once again, heel, outer edge, toes, inner edge. Bring that ankle right back under the knee and we'll bring that left heel to the mat. Touch the mat with the heel, the outer edge, toes, inner edge. Again, heel, outer edge, toes, inner edge. One more time, heel, outer edge, toes, inner edge. Bring the ankle under the knee. And if you like, you can tap your feet out. Okay, we'll bring that to a close. We're sitting up nice and tall. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. We're maintaining our neutral spine. And as we breathe in, we're gonna bring our arms to a T and lift our right knee and exhale down. Opposite knee, breathing in, breathing out. And just flow through that to your own breath. 
Keep the back nice and long. We're not slouching into the chair. Let's do that one more time on each side. Breathing in. Bring that to a close. Now bring your arms to cactus arms. The palms are facing forward. This time as you inhale, straighten the right leg. Lift the arms up. Rotate your arms so the palms are facing. And then as you exhale, rotate the arms again so the palms are facing out. The leg comes down. Breathe in. Breathe out. And just keep flowing through that to your own breath. on each side, right leg, and then the left leg. And bring your arms down, and if you need to shake your arms out, go ahead, shake your arms out. And now, slide forward towards the front of the chair. Bring your legs as far apart as is comfortable for you, sitting up nice and tall. And we're gonna make circles with our waist. So just begin making big circles big as you can make. One more circle in this direction and then pause and we'll go in the other direction. bring our elbows to our knees. So we're hinging from the hips. You're not bending at the waist. You're keeping that spinal column nice and long. Breathe in and as you exhale, straighten the right arm and look to your left. Breathe in, coming back to the center. Exhale to the opposite side. And just keep flowing through that to your own breath. Breathing in as you come to the center. Breathing out as you turn to the side. Let's do that one more time to each side. And then return to the center. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Oh, well, we'll keep our feet up. Bring your right hand to the center of the chair. Your left arm is by your side. And as you inhale, you're gonna lift that left arm up and over. You're stretching through that left side. And exhale back. And just keep flowing through that to your own breath, getting a nice stretch on that side. And keep that left hip on the chair. You don't let that rise up. One more time. And we'll bring that to a close on that side and we'll do the other side. So now the left hand pulls onto the chair right arm by your side. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back. Just keep flowing through that to your own breath. And one last time. Bring that to a close. Go ahead, heel toe your feet in. So once again, the feet are about hip distance apart. And bring your hands to your belly so that they're on either side of the navel. Breathe in and as you exhale, twist to the right. 
Breathe in, coming back to the center. Breathe out to the left. Inhale to the center. Just keep flowing through that. The twist starts at the tailbone, works its way up vertebrae by vertebrae, with your head turning last. If it's painful to turn your head, you can just keep the ears over the shoulders, looking straight ahead. And let's return to the center. Okay, we're gonna do some deeper twists. So bring your feet off the right side of the chair. Knees over ankles, toes facing forward. You've got your neutral spine with your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. You can feel those two little bones in the center of your backside gently pressing into the chair. Those are your sits bones. Now as you breathe in, lift and lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, working from the tailbone up, come into your twist. Turning the head last, if that's available to you. You don't have to turn the head if it's painful. You always want to do yoga with relaxed effort. You never want to go to a place of pain. Stay here and breathe. Exhale, bring the head, the shoulders, the chest, and the belly back in line with your knees. And we'll do that two more times. So as you breathe in, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, working from the tailbone up, vertebrae by vertebrae, come into your twist. Remembering to breathe. Exhale, releasing the head, the shoulders, the chest, and the belly. One last time on this side. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and twist. Breathing out, release. Chest and belly in line with your knees. Okay, we'll do that on the other side. Make sure your toes are facing forward, your knees are over the ankles, your spine is nice and long, sits bones gently pressing into the chair. Now as you breathe in, lengthen that spine, and as you exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, working up the spinal column, come into your twist. Your shoulders are starting to hunch up. Just relax them down towards the hips. Stay here and breathe. Exhale the head, the shoulders, the chest, and the belly. Back in line with your knees. Two more times on this side. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale and twist. Working with relaxed effort. You don't want to strain the body. You don't, it should be working, but it shouldn't be in pain. And then breathe out, unwinding the spine from the head down to the tailbone. One more time. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and twist. Last twist on this side. So see if you can come into it a little more deeply. If you can't, that's okay. Just work with the body you have. Accept it without judgment. Exhale, release the head, the shoulders, the chest, and the Okay, let's bring our feet around to the front. Let's move our sits bones closer to the front edge of the chair to give yourself some space in the back. And we're gonna flow through cat-cow. So breathe in and as you exhale, press your navel towards your spine and arch your back towards the wall behind you. If we were on our hands and knees, it would be like a hissing cat. And then breathe in, release the belly, come into your sway back cow. 
and just flow through that to your own breath. Exhaling into cat, inhaling into cow. In cow, the neck follows the curve of the spinal column, but you're not dropping your head back onto your shoulders. You're just completing the curve of the spinal column. And the next time you release from cat, begin your holographic wave. Just move in any way that feels good to you. There's no way to do it wrong. Move into any places of tightness or tension. Massage that tightness or tension away. Okay, let's bring that to a close. Let's bring our arms out and we'll work on our wrists. So just start making circles with your wrists. And then pause and make circles in the other direction. And bring that to a close. You can shake your arms out, pulse your shoulders. Sweep the arms up again. The elbows are bent, the palms are facing up. Breathe in, and then when you exhale, turn the hands down, make fists. You can straighten your elbows if that feels good to you. And then inhale up, open the hands, bend the elbows. Exhale. And just flow through that. Juicing up all the joints in our fingers and our thumbs and the elbows. Breathing in and breathing out. Do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. Then you can shake the arms out, pulse the shoulders. And now let your shoulders relax towards your hips. And roll them forward and up and down the back. Do that two more times. After the third time, just let the shoulders relax. And then we'll go in reverse, back and up and forward. Three times that way. And we'll bring that to a close. Now lift the shoulders towards the ears and then let them relax. Let's do that again. Lift the shoulders. Let them gently drop back down. Okay, good. Breathe in, and as you exhale, bring the chin to your chest. Breathing in, bring that chin across the right side and lift it up over the right shoulder. Exhale, drop the chin to the shoulder, back to the chest, and then breathe in, bringing it up the other side. Exhale. And just keep flowing through this to your own breath. One last time, bring the chin up the right side or whatever side you're on. Breathe out, drop the chin to the shoulder, back to the heart center. Inhale up the other side. Exhale, dropping the chin to the shoulder, back to the heart center. And then bring your ears back in line over your shoulders. Inhale again, and as you exhale, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. You'll feel a good stretch on the opposite side of the neck. And if you want to intensify that stretch, just reach your arm out, fingertips pointed towards the floor and stay here and breathe. Breathing in again, bring the head to the center, the arm to the side. We'll do the other side, so inhale. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Oh, feel that stretch on the right side of the neck. And if you want to increase it, you don't have to. Listen to your body. 
You can bring that right arm out, lengthen that arm, stretching through the neck. center, the arm down to the side. Okay, if you scooted back in your chair, scoot up a little bit towards the front, bring your knees apart, bring your arms to your side. We'll move through this slowly the first time. We're going to inhale the arms up, and the shoulders don't come up. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Exhale the arms down to the chair. Just hold on to the chair wherever it feels good to you. And come into a gentle back bend. Remembering to breathe. And then we're going to straighten the spine and bring our hands behind our back and interlace the fingers. And the next time you breathe out, hinge from the hips. Lift the arms up if you can. If you can't, that's okay. It's more important to keep the back nice and long and straight than to lift your arms up. Good, good. And then inhale back up, releasing your hands, letting the arms flow up, and letting the arms flow down. We'll do that two more times. Breathing in, breathing out, bring your hands to the chair, wherever it's comfortable for you. Come into a gentle back bend. Remembering to breathe. And then bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Come back to your neutral spine. And as you hinge forward, press your navel towards your spine. That protects your low back. Keep the spine nice and long. Stay here and breathe. Good, good. Inhale up. Bring the arms up and exhale down. One last time. Breathing in, breathing out, gentle back bend. Come to a neutral spine, interlacing your fingers behind your back. And when you exhale, press the navel towards the spine. That's engaging the navel root block. It protects your low back. You hinge forward. Hold it and breathe. And then inhale up, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Okay, good. Let's heel toe our feet in. Bring our hands to Anjali Mudra. This hand position is called Anjali Mudra. And as you inhale, you're going to come up on your toes. Bring the arms straight out. They're in line with your shoulders. Exhale, bring the heels to the floor. Bring your hands back to the heart center. Keep flowing through this to your own breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And one more time. We'll bring that to a close and slowly come to standing. Bring your chair off the right side of the mat. And we'll come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So first we want to press down through the four corners of our feet and just to remind you, the four corners are on the bottom of your foot where the big toe meets the toe mound, where the little toe meets the toe mound, and on either side at the back of the heel. And the feet are hip distance apart, which means if you can find those bony protrusions on the front of your pelvis, the feet are right below those. Toes are facing forward. Go ahead and lift your toes. That activates the arches. And then go ahead and lower the toes, leaving the arches lifted. If you're like me, as you go about your day, your arches tend to come inward. And if you lift the toes and 
activate the arches, then the ankles come right under the knees where they need to be. So the ankles are under the knees, knees under hips, hips under shoulders, ears over shoulders. Chin is parallel to the floor. And stay here and breathe. This is called Tadasana, a mountain pose. Because you're standing tall and strong and silent like a mountain. to the tops of your thighs. Go ahead and bend your knees. Breathe in and as you exhale, hinging at the hips, not bending at the waist, but hinging at the hips, slide down. When the exhalation stops, just stop wherever you are. Doesn't matter how far down you are. And then inhale, sliding the hands up, bringing your ears and your shoulders back over your head. Let's flow through that to your own breath. Exhaling. Inhale. You're keeping your neutral spine, letting your belly come to the tops of your thighs. to your chair if you need to. Bring your right foot back, your left foot forward. That back leg is straight, the foot is off to an angle, so the toes are pointing towards the long side of the mat. Turn your hips so your hip points are facing forward. You may need to make some adjustments. Bend that knee so it's right over your ankle. You can still see your second toe. If you can't see that second toe, that means your knee is too far forward. So bring it back so it's right over the ankle. And then inhale, lifting your arms up, coming into warrior one, Viradrasa one. Stay here and breathe. Pressing down through the four corners of both feet. You're nice and strong in your legs. Our warrior one. So in this position, we're going to inhale, exhale, straighten that front knee, bring the arms out, inhale, and exhale. Okay, we'll flow through that again. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. We'll keep going. feet so they're side by side about shoulder distance apart and just rock back and forth and now we'll do that on the other side so if you need to bring the chair over to the other side go ahead and do that this time the right foot's forward the left foot's back that back leg stays straight the foot's pointing off to an angle so the foot Toes are pointing towards the side of the mat. Pivot your hips forward. Bend that front knee. Breathe in as you sweep the arms up, coming in to warrior one. Stay here and breathe. Feeling strong in your legs, you're balanced on both feet. The 
begin our flow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We'll do that a few more times. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Keep going. side by side about shoulder distance apart and just rock back and forth let's bring the feet hip distance apart come back into your tadasana feel your body lined up ankles under knees knees under hips hips under shoulders ears over shoulders Chin is parallel to the floor. Now take your index fingers, put them in that hip crease where your legs join the torso. Breathe in and as you exhale, come into a half forward fold. So you just gently want to hug those index fingers. And if you press your navel towards your spine, that'll protect your low back. Keep it pressed against the spine as you inhale back up, letting it release come all the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up. Okay, good. So that's our half forward fold. And we're going to use that in this next pose, which is a modified downward facing dog but we'll use the chair so I'm going to turn my mat chair, the feet are hip distance apart, and come into your half forward fold. You're hinging at the hips like we just did. Bring your hands to the chair. Your back is nice and long. You should have your weight pretty much pressing down evenly through the four corners of each foot. If you feel more weight on your heels, that means your hips are too far back. So bring those hips right over the heels in line with the heels. So the weight's more evenly distributed through each foot. And then walk your feet back. You want to keep your upper back flat. Step out wide. Bend your knees. And just lengthen, pressing your six bones towards the wall behind you. And then straighten those knees. Keep breathing. You want to feel long and strong through the sides of the torso and out through the arms. You want to feel a good stretch. Don't forget to press your navel towards your spine as you, in, as you exhale, just gently, just to protect your low back. And then heel toe those feet into the center. Walk back up to your chair till you're in that half forward fold. Inhale and come up. Okay, how did that feel? We'll do that two more times. So as you exhale, engage your root lock, come into your half forward fold. Hands are on the chair. You're strong in your feet, pressing through the four corners of each foot. And then walk your feet back till your head's between your arms or as close to that as you can get. 
step out wide, bend those knees, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then straighten your legs. Stay here and breathe. So your shoulder blades should be pressing towards your chest. You're not rounding your shoulders. the feet in, walk back up into your half forward fold, and when you're ready, and inhale up. Just come into Tadasana for a minute and just notice how your body is. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So come down into your half forward fold. to walk back. Try to go back far enough so your head's between your arms. Step out with your feet as wide as you can. Bend your knees and stretch out. And then stay here and breathe. Tadasana. Just notice how you feel. Before we come down onto the floor for our final poses, let's do one balance pose. So go ahead and get your chair, bring it in front of you. This is just there in case you need to hold on to it. If you don't need to hold on to it, that's fine. Your feet are hip distance apart, your toes are facing forward. As you inhale, come up on your toes. As you exhale, lower the heels back down to the mat. And just flow through that. If you want to use your hands, you can use your hands. Inhale up. This time when you inhale up, see if you can stay up on your toes. You don't have to lift the heels very high. Find a spot on the floor several feet ahead of you. Gaze at it gently. That helps you keep your balance. And when you're ready, exhale down. Okay, good. Let's remove the chair and come down on the floor. If you don't have a mat, you can lie on a beach towel or a blanket or something. So your feet are on the mat, your knees are pointed towards the ceiling. Let your arms and your shoulders just rest on the floor. Just gently rock your knees back and forth in windshield wipers. Rolling over onto the edges of your feet as you drop the knees from side to side. This should help release any tension that might be in your low back. And then bring that to a close. Your feet are once again flat on the mat. Now bring your knees up over your body, placing your hand on your knees. One hand on each knee, your feet are flexed. Your elbows are bent as you bring the knees in towards your chest. And then as you inhale, straighten the elbows, gently pushing the knees away. Exhale, bend the elbows, the knees come and just flow through that. Now 
You may notice as you inhale and push the knees away that the low curve returns to your low back. And as you exhale and bring the knees in, that low back flattens into the mat. This also helps release any tension there might be in the low back. Next time you inhale and gently push the knees away, take your hands off, let the feet come back down to the mat. And once again, just rock your knees back and forth and reach your vocals. Bring that to a close. Bring your knees back over your body. Bring your arms out in a T so the arms are stretching out straight from the shoulders, the palms are facing up. Breathe in and as you breathe out, drop your knees over to the right. You can either look up at the ceiling or turn your head to the left. And if that left shoulder's come up off the floor, just bring that arm a little closer to your body and get that shoulder back on the floor. When you're ready, breathe in, bring that left arm up and over, hand on top of hand, shoulder on top of shoulder, hip on top of hip. And then as you breathe out, bring that top hand up your arm, across your chest, and lay that left arm back on the floor. Do that two more times to your own breath. Done that three times, both arms are stretched out on the floor. Breathe in, bring your knees and your head back to the center. And then drop the knees over to the left, turning your head to the right. If that's available to you, if it hurts to turn your head, you can keep looking at the ceiling like this. And when you're ready, we'll do it three times on this side. So breathe in, bring that Right arm up and over, one hand on top of the other, shoulder on top of shoulder, hip on top of hip. And as you breathe out, drag that right hand up your left arm, across your chest, and lay that right arm on the floor. Do that two more times to your own breath. that three times. Bring your knees and your head back to the center. Put your feet back on the mat. Bring your arms down closer to your body, maybe at a 45 degree angle from the body. Just rock the knees back and forth one more time. And then bring that to a close. Lower one leg to the mat and then the other. Let your feet fall where they may. Bring your awareness to your pelvis, your legs, and your feet. Your pelvis, your legs, and your feet are totally relaxed. Enter your awareness on your torso, the front, the back, the sides of the torso. The front, the back, the sides are totally relaxed. Become aware of your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your fingers are totally relaxed. Set 
center on your neck, your facial muscles, the other muscles surrounding your head, your neck, your facial muscles, the other muscles are totally relaxed. Now for this next part, all your muscles from the waist down stay completely relaxed. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. The palms are facing each other, fingertips pointed towards the sky. Breathe in and make fists and then hold your breath. Tighten all your muscles from the waist up as you lower your hands down towards your chest. And when they get there, exhale through the mouth. Totally relax all your muscles. Let the arms float down to your feet. We'll do that two more times. Sweep the arms up. Tighten the muscles from the waist up as you make fists. Hold your breath. If you're holding your muscles so tight, your arms are shaking as you bring your hands down towards the chest. Then exhale and release. <sighs> Let all your muscles One more time. Sweep the arms up. Inhale, tighten the muscles, make fists. Bring those fists down towards your chest and when they get there, exhale. <sighs> totally relax, let the earth cradle your body. Bring all your awareness into your body. Center on the breath. Breathing in, breathing out, and come into Shavasana. Stretch in any way that feels good to you. If you like, you can place your feet flat on the mat. Rock your knees from side to side. When you're ready, roll over on 
onto your right side. Take a couple of deep breaths in that position. And then come up into a comfortable seated position. It's comfortable to sit cross-legged, sit cross-legged. I'm nursing an old hip injury, so I can't really totally do that. Bring your hands to onto the knees at the heart. Thank you for letting me be a part of your yoga journey today. I hope the inner calm and peace that you feel right now, you can carry into the rest of the day. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.